Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Hi, friends. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about something very exciting. Um, we're talking about all of the things that we had on our wedding registry. So, Brandon, my husband, and I got married on June 5th. Um, so we've been married for a little over a month and a half, two months, somewhere in there. So we had a lot of amazing things on our registry. People were so, so, so generous and got us so many amazing things. So if you're looking for registry ideas, especially if you're kind of starting out brand new, because um, this was really our first like full-fledged apartment. Um, I did have an apartment in college, but you know, college stuff is not stuff that is nice or anything like that. It's just kind of random hand-me-down stuff. So I'm going to be going through pretty much everything that um, we had on our registry and that we got. There were some things that didn't get purchased that we did end up um, purchasing afterwards. Uh, I will say we were registered at Amazon. Um, not to give Amazon any more money, but it was really, really convenient to be registered on Amazon. Just everything you could possibly want is on there and it's really easy for people to just go on there find your registry and uh, get some things so the first thing is our silverware and we didn't want just normal silverware so we ended up with this black silverware so it's really cool it's like nice and black and yeah it's really good quality it came with big spoons big forks little forks little spoons, uh, knives, and then steak knives as well, which is awesome because now we have two sets of steak knives because we also got knives. So that was the first thing. That's been really nice, no complaints there. Um, the next thing is actually these storage containers for in the fridge, which we actually also ended up putting some of these in our bathroom because it was just, we needed some storage in there, but it comes with a nice, um, uh, there's 14 slots in here for eggs, which is really nice because I feel like it's annoying when you have a 12 slot egg thing because it, you know, you have to fit exactly a dozen and usually you have a couple left over or whatever. And then also these really nice storage containers, which I think we have one in the fridge and then the rest we use in the bathroom. The next thing, which is super cool, um, which I've been wanting for a really long time, are these wool laundry balls. So instead of using dryer sheets every time you just put some of these wool balls in there and you can put essential oils on there and it's supposed to like reduce your dry drying time by like a third or I don't know something like that and I have noticed that our drying time does go down significantly um they are a little loud in there they kind of bounce around a lot but I mean it's not really any more annoying than just a normal dryer so yeah I would definitely recommend these so the next thing is also laundry related. Um, we actually got one of these like lemonade dispensers and then we put our laundry detergent in here, which is totally not necessary, but it's kind of cool. So yeah, uh, I will say it takes a long time for this to like come out, like it comes out slowly. So you kind of have to like stand there for a minute with a cap or whatever, or just put this over the washer and like wait a while. <laughs> So it is slow, so if that's gonna annoy you, maybe don't do this, but it's cute, so. <laughs> so the next thing we got was Cards Against Humanity. If you've ever played this card game, it's really fun, a little inappropriate, but that's okay. Um, we already had Settlers of Catan, and we did end up picking up Monopoly after we got married, so I think board games are just a really good thing to have on your registry because it's something fun that you can do and it's something that a lot of people don't go out and buy themselves so I would definitely recommend this. Um, Settlers of Catan is a really good one, Monopoly, Cards Against Humanity. I really want to get Dutch Blitz so I wish that I had put that on our registry but yeah those are just some good board game options. We got this. Pretty great. Okay the next thing, super fun. We added this at the last minute and someone ended up getting it for us. It's a label maker. We both really like being organized and keeping things labeled and in their place and everything. So this is honestly so great. Um, you can see we just have it on some of our pantry stuff and just, it's really just 
nice. It just kind of makes things a little bit more organized. And yeah, definitely would recommend a label maker, especially if you're looking for some interesting ideas. Most people don't have label makers, so this one's really cool and it's really easy to use too, so. The next thing is our little bedside table lamps. We got two of these and they're really, really nice. They just, it's just a normal little drawstring thing and it has two USB chargers, which is awesome for a bedside table. So you can charge your phone and I charge my headphones or my watch or whatever on it. So yeah, this is super nice. They work really well. They were really easy to put together. So, and they're kind of cute. The next thing is actually in the kitchen. Um, it is a little sponge holder that has a place for a sponge and a towel and a little um, brush, which is just so nice. I really hate when you have like a sponge that's just sitting off to the side and then the brush thing that's always just laying there. So I was so excited to like think of this and put this on there because it's just a little extra thing that just makes your sink a little more organized and clean and put together so I would highly recommend this. And then the next thing is also in our kitchen. It is our spice rack. I seriously am so happy that we put this on here. It just it's one of my favorite parts of our kitchen. I love spices. I love organization. I love labels so this seriously was such a good item to put on there and those labels that are on there they do come with the spice rack and then we actually had the jars are separate from the little stand that it's on, so we put those things separately, but somebody ended up purchasing both of them at the same time. So super, super nice. Would highly recommend a spice rack if you love spices and organization. The next thing is this big boy, our air fryer. Seriously, I didn't really know if we needed an air fryer because I was like, ah, I'm not the biggest fan of like big appliances and you know, it's just you have to find storage for it and it's kind of annoying, but seriously, we use this like at least once a day. It is so nice. It's so convenient. I roast vegetables in here all the time. I cook Brandon's chicken in here. We cook like toast in here, uh, like cheesy bread. And seriously, it is just so, 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 so nice. Um, I am constantly roasting up like beans to put on my salads for a little extra protein. Seriously, it makes things so fast. The cleanup is fairly easy. You just like take this thing out and then the two parts come undone in here. It seriously is so nice. Game changer. Highly recommend an air fryer. One thing that I did want to mention that we didn't get, um, no one purchased it for us because we kind of put it on there late and we haven't purchased it yet, but it is the office DVDs. Um, since they took them off Netflix, we were kind of bummed about that, but we really don't want to go and get Peacock just to watch The Office. So we did put that on there. So if you're looking for some ideas and stuff, The Office is, if you like The Office, or maybe just another DVD, because I know there's a lot of things getting taken off places and you don't want to have to go and purchase them. So it's kind of nice just to have a DVD set. So Friends or The Office, or that's really all that I watch. So <laughs> yeah, those things. The next thing is these storage containers. They come in a variety of sizes and you can see our little labels on there. And um, yeah, they're just really convenient. They have like a really nice air lock. So they keep stuff really fresh and it's just a way to just really make your pantry a little more organized, especially with us, we don't have a ton of storage. So having like bags and all kinds of random stuff through our pantry just looks really unorganized and stuff. So I'm really, really happy with these. The next thing is also kind of a really nice organizational feature. Um, I actually ended up purchasing these um, via Michelle Reed's recommendation here on YouTube. Uh, she stores like pots on them, which is what I was planning on doing, but it ended up not really fitting correctly in our uh, cabinets because it's our cabinets are really, really shallow. So we weren't able to fit it that way, but we do keep our lids in it, which is really nice because I hate when you go and you try to find a lid for a pot and you're digging through all of them and you can't find the right one. So this just keeps them really nice and organized. So even if you do have kind of limited space, I think that you could still really use something like this. And the next thing, which I'm missing one of, are these Pyrex um, baking, not baking, these Pyrex um, measuring cups. They're so nice. I love having the glass ones that are just really sturdy and nice and you can mix things in them and then also pour them. I made pancakes this morning and that's what I did. So these are just a really nice staple to have. 
And the next thing is our coffee table. Uh, this was one of the things that we did end up purchasing um, afterwards because no one had gotten it for us, which was totally fine. Um, it's just really nice. Uh, for the price, it honestly looks super, super nice and it's just really sturdy and yeah, no complaints about it. It matches really well with everything and we got those wicker baskets to put underneath it, which is just really nice for extra storage. Um, I keep a lot of my stuff that I work on YouTube, I keep the laptop in there sometimes and yeah, it's just really nice to have those. The next thing is our weekly planner that we keep on our fridge. This was so nice. Um, just with all of the things that I'm doing on the side, sometimes it's hard for me to keep track and for Brandon to know like, what night is she training someone? Where is she? So this is just super nice. At the beginning of the week, we both just put everything that we're doing that week and then we kind of both know what's going on and we're not confused as to who's doing what when and it's just super nice and having the little notes down there is nice. I, a lot of times if I don't want to like put my macros in my phone right then, I'll put my macros, just write them on the whiteboard and then I can take it down on my phone later so yeah just having that it's super nice to take notes and keep track of things and would highly recommend. The next thing's kind of boring it's just our broom but we do have this one that has uh it's like one of those ones that I don't know people move use in like movie theaters or whatever it's just you can brush everything into it and be able to hold on to that stick thing and you know what I mean it's really nice I like having one like that so would recommend. And the next thing is this pizza pan. Um, super nice for when you want a really, really like crispy pizza crust because it has these holes in it, you can see. So it really lets the air come up through there. And we always do it where we'll just put the pizza crust on the pizza pan and put just that in the oven and then bring that out after it's kind of like golden brown and we put garlic on it. And, and then we put the rest of the toppings on there and cook it again and that just really makes sure that the pizza is really really crispy and this pan seriously helps with that so if you like pizza would recommend and the next thing is this lamp that we have in our living room um it kind of matches the ones that we have in our bedroom just with that kind of square frame um it's really nice because it has shelves on it we have some wedding pictures on there and yeah it's just really cute and again was really easy to put together and yeah we like it the next thing is our laundry hampers. Kind of boring, but these are functional and work really well. And yeah, we're fans, so would recommend. The next thing is this little tiny trash can, which we keep in our bedroom. It was originally supposed to be our bathroom one, but we kind of moved some things around. And it's just nice to have a cute little trash can. So, closes really slow, look at that. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that, satisfying. So, mini trash can. The next thing is these oven mitts. Um, it came with two of these and then two little square ones that you can put under pans and stuff and they're just super nice. We have them hanging up next to our sink and yeah, definitely a fan of these. The next thing is this Ninja blender. Seriously use this pretty much every day to make protein smoothies or just smoothies or whatever. It's really, really nice. It's super powerful, works well, pretty easy to clean up, so yeah would recommend this ninja the next thing is this knife set seriously really like this knife set it is just really high quality and it's just all one solid piece of metal there so that's really really nice uh you don't have to worry about like sometimes those like plastic handles will like fall off the knife handle and whatever and it comes with this nice block and it even has like a sharpener in there which is great because brandon really likes sharpening knives so yeah, we definitely recommend that knife set. Next thing is our floating shelves, which we have really struggled with getting them to hang. So if they look a little crooked or off, that's why um, living in an apartment, we've kind of struggled to figure out how to hang things without really damaging the walls a whole lot. So there's that. And then along with that, we also have the clock up there. Um, this is just really cute. It really adds a little bit of different elements to that wall back there that's behind our couch just a nice circle object um it doesn't keep time super well well it's on time right now so it doesn't keep time super well all the time um but it does a pretty good job and then along with that we also have our hooks that we have hanging up um in our hallway that are just really nice to hang our keys on and hats and sunglasses you can see up there so 
those are really nice. And then we have our cute little welcome mat that we have out on our patio. So it gets a little dusty and grassy, but it's still really cute. Um, I really like the simplicity of it and I like gray things and yeah, it's just cute and simple. And then the next thing is these storage containers, um, which are pretty nice. I will say that sometimes the little tabs on the side, there's one of them that is kind of stuck up so it doesn't seal super, super well, which is a little bit of a bummer. I would say maybe instead of these, which I'll link these specific ones, but then I'll also link, I'll also link these Pyrex ones that somebody actually got us. That it wasn't on our registry, but they ended up getting them for us. And I'm really thankful for that because I really like these. They're just really nice quality and they really don't leak very much at all. Sometimes if I have some salad dressing in one of them, it'll leak just a tiny bit on the sides, but really they're, they're really good quality. So definitely look at getting these. The next couple things are our Keurig, which is super nice. I really like the slim fit of it. So it really fits on our countertop, um, which the bigger ones wouldn't fit very well, but this one really fits well. And then also the same thing for our toaster. It's just a really small one that fits perfectly in with the microwave. Um, I would say we didn't put a microwave on our list, but we did end up purchasing one of those afterwards. So if you, you know, need a microwave, I would definitely consider putting that on your registry. Um, we got this one at Walmart. Uh, I'll try to link one from Amazon as well. And then we also have our vacuum, which just, it's a vacuum. It works well for what it is. So yeah, no complaints about that vacuum. And then we have our bedside tables, which are really simple, really nice. They kind of go with our coffee table, which doesn't really matter because they're in separate rooms, but they were really easy to put together, did it myself. So yeah, they're, they're really nice. The next thing is these um, pots. So yeah, they're, they're pretty nice. Um, I don't really any complaints. They're not like the best quality or anything. I will say we did also put a soup that pot thing like a bigger soup pan so that we can kind of cook bigger things if we need to um this one is really good quality i do really like this one so yeah just normal pots and pans uh again the ones from amazon that we had that we put on there not the nicest quality but it does the job so. and then the next thing is our cast iron skillet would highly 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 recommend getting one of these um, I have never found a pan that works as well as a cast iron skillet. I just haven't. We have another pan that came with the, the pots that I showed. That, not good quality at all. We cooked on it like once and it is burnt on and just not good. And cast iron, I cook on it pretty much every day and it's doing great. It is dirty right now because I cooked on it a little while ago and I haven't cleaned it yet. But, works super well. Love cast iron, so definitely think about putting that on your registry. The next thing is these mixing bowls, which I will say, if you live in a tight space, these do not fit in our cabinets, but we keep them on top of the fridge and that works pretty well. But yeah, they're good quality. Um, haven't really had any problems with them yet. So yeah, mixing bowls. They're not the cutest thing, but they work. And then also kind of along those lines, we have this colander. I really like this one. I like the fact that it has a stand. I like the fact that it's not plastic. It just works well. Um, the holes are really small, as you can see. So you don't have to worry about like your spaghetti slipping through them or whatever. So yeah, really nice. Again, have to store this on top of the fridge because it won't fit in our cabinets, but it's nice. And then the next couple things here are this one, unfortunately, we don't really get a chance to use because we can't have a grill at our apartment, but it's this really nice grill set that I'm so excited for when we do have a grill. Um, this was mostly for Brandon because he loves grilling, but yeah, you get skewers and corn things and a brushy thing and a really nice spatula and tongs and a thing to clean stuff with and yeah, really, really nice. So excited to get to use that. And then we also have this amazing cutting board. Love wooden cutting boards. Um, definitely don't wash them in the dishwasher. If you do get one, just wash it by hand. It works super well. Use this like every single day. Definitely need a cutting board. And I just really like wooden ones because they look nice and they work well. And yeah, no complaints. And then we also have these cups. You know, gotta have a cup there really nice. They're pretty thick and heavy duty and 
you get a, I think you get eight of each of these sizes and they work really well. So no complaints about cups. It was funny because we moved in here and we like had gotten some things in, but we hadn't gotten everything yet. And cups were one of the things that somebody had purchased, but they didn't send it directly to us. They brought it to the ceremony. So we had to wait a really long time to get cups. Well, not a really long time. Brandon moved in here like a month before we got married or so. So he had to wait a while to get cups, but now we have cups. So that's exciting. Okay guys, I think that's pretty much everything. There might've been a couple little odds and ends that I forgot to bring out here, or put out here or whatever, but yeah, that's everything that we have on our registry. Um, yeah, if you guys have gotten married recently or you're planning on getting married, uh, go ahead and put down below anything else that you think is a good thing to have on our registry. Um, I think there's definitely maybe some things that we could have put on there that didn't, like more games or whatever, but yeah, I'm really and just so thankful for all the people that gave us things and there's even some things that aren't on our registry that or that weren't on our registry that people got us that we really really like. So, I just remember after our wedding just feeling so incredibly thankful for like all the people that came to the wedding and you know, were nice enough to put some thought into a present or get something off our registry because they know that we needed it or it just Weddings are just so fun and wedding registries are fun. It was so fun getting to plan out this apartment and figure out all the things that we needed and just having nice stuff to start a life together. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful and you guys got some ideas on what you can get and what you should put on a registry, especially if you're starting out brand new. So definitely like, subscribe, uh, stick around for lots of lifestyle content and newlywed stuff and I'm definitely going to do some more wedding videos like regrets that I have and I have a one that's either up now or coming out soon on um, how we planned a wedding under $3,000 which was awesome. So definitely stick around for that kind of stuff. I also do fitness stuff so if you're interested in fitness or interested in living a healthier lifestyle definitely stick around for that kind of thing. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Darling, you